Hello! Hi everyone! With the summer holidays coming up, I thought I'd make a video today about why the holidays can be really difficult for autistic people. Um, because we need routine and structure and in the holidays it kind of, everything just stops. I know for me in the past I've found holidays a really hard time and things have gone quite wrong because I like how I cope with my problems and with just day-to-day -day struggles is by keeping really busy and then in the holidays when everything just kind of stops it's hard to keep up a routine and for me that means that like my sense of purpose just completely falls away and I feel purposeless and worthless and I feel like I don't belong here because I can't keep myself busy or entertained and boredom is a really hard emotion for me. When I'm bored I feel it physically all over, I get really itchy, I feel so uncomfortable and so just like tense in my body and it's really unpleasant and painful. Um, so boredom is an emotion I really try to avoid at all costs because it's because it hurts and in day-to-day -day life the things that I do and my routines tend to just fizzle out in the holidays so in the past I have really feared the holidays and especially if we had something planned for the holiday and the plans got cancelled it really throws me off because I, I write everything in my diary here I plan out all my days, the times, everything I do and it's like a typical day for me uh, okay I'll read out a typical day to you so on this particular day I woke up at 8 o'clock I fed and cleaned my rabbits and ate breakfast then at 9, at nine o'clock I left for a half an hour walk to the adult mental health services to, for a medication review. Then my mum picked me up and I went to the gym. When I got back from the gym, I saw my friend Rachel for lunch. Then I went to work and then I got home and I watched an episode of TV, had a shower and went to bed at 10.30. So that's pretty full. I normally have a nap as well um, and and normally that that takes up some time and I do normally need a nap as well because I get really tired which I spoke about in another video but pretty much all my days are like that I don't I don't stress about timings of things I just write them in the order that they're going to happen in my diary and do them and I just keep very busy I don't like watching tv for long periods of time um so I don't do that um and I know like a lot of people naturally have busy lives but for me the past two years I could have very easily just watched spent the whole time watching TV um, which I did do in lockdown and it was very unhelpful for me I have college th three days a week I work probably three days a week I go to the gym four days a week um, and I Basically, I have my constant things that I do nearly every day and then I have my one-off things which happen occasionally and that's how I'd recommend you structure or for your kids you structure their holidays that you try and do one new thing every day like one special big event like go to the zoo, go out with some friends, go ice skating, go to a water park, like it's summer it doesn't always have to be expensive, have a picnic, but like one main activity per day. And then around that, you fill it with the things that happen every day. So making food, watching TV, cleaning and looking after your pets, going to the gym, working. Um, that's how I would structure my, that's how I will structure my holiday. Um, going on holiday, is another is completely separate thing um, which is also very stressful I recently went on holiday and it didn't go very well because all the 
all my coping mechanisms that how I keep busy to cope the whole point of going on holiday is that you relax and you sunbathe and you don't do much and it completely set me off my routines and my schedule and it just really phased me and we actually ended up coming back early and it just wasn't a great time so I will maybe do another video on going on holiday how to like make new routines and keep routines when you're completely away from normal life and all the stresses that that's involved like packing and the airport and traveling but yeah overall it, my routines are really important for me like they help me to feel like I've got a purpose and they help me to not like just sit and dwell in my thoughts um and it helps me to keep my my, my happiness really so when everything when school stops because obviously school takes up a school is very routined um you go from lesson to lesson you have a lunch break and it does keep you busy even if it's boring and horrible at points it keeps you busy and active and that takes up most of your time so when you're going to school every day all you have to worry about is your morning routine and your evening routine when you get home and when you get home from school you're tired so you might have an after school club and watch tv and then get ready for bed really have dinner so that takes out like five or six hours of your day that you don't have to schedule for which is really helpful if you're well for me that was really helpful um so basically two years ago when I went to college and it was like three half days a week, I really had to learn how to schedule my days completely. Um, and that's how I've done it through starting work, going to the gym, having my everyday constants, my rabbits, eating, making food, meeting up with friends, pretty constant. And then like my one off things that I do as treats, like I'm going to a work party thing tonight i'm going to leeds tomorrow for a uni open day if i have like free time then i get creative i'll make paintings make candles make cakes make new recipes make bracelets i don't know i try and keep creative because i am a creative person so i don't know trying to keep busy in the holidays can be really hard but i recommend that you sit down with your parents and like have a diary like I do and just plan everything out, try and get one special big event in per day and then structure around it the normal things that are gonna happen every day. And hopefully with that, you can keep busy enough and keep enough structure and routine that it feels quite normal for you and you don't really notice like a massive change from being like full on life to suddenly doing nothing, which is really challenging. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, then put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer and help if I can. Because I, I feel like this particular topic is something that I used to struggle with so much and I do still struggle with now, but I've really learned how, how to manage it. So I feel like I'm quite experienced at like dealing with this, structuring your time and timetabling. So yeah, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay, bye then, have a nice day.